All right. Well, on the mat at White Bear Lake High School are some of the best deaf wrestlers in the United States. And in a week, the team is set to leave for Brazil, where they'll compete in the Deaf Olympics. But as Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey tells us, the team is struggling to secure funding needed to make that trip. Through basic gestures and demonstration, this coach is finding a way to communicate with his hearing impaired wrestlers. I've had to adapt, I've had to grow as a, as a coach, as a person. I've had to learn as much sign as I could in a short amount of time. But wrestling is wrestling no matter, no matter who's doing it. But it's the interpreter who helps fill in the gaps. Interpreters are the bridge between hearing and deaf. So interpreters are very important. That's why these wrestlers are so concerned that their interpreter may not be able to come with them next week when they leave for the biggest competition of their life, the Deaf Olympics in Brazil. We're trying our best to try to get that money raised as soon as possible to get that paid back to them. And if we can't, then um, we'll be cut. We will have no interpreters and no coaches. The U.S. Deaf Wrestling Team, which trains in White Bear Lake, has no support from the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee and is on their own financially. Every athlete raising their own funds to make the trip. The Hearing Olympics, they have so many sponsorships. A lot of, they're paid to go. And here we are paying our own way fully. These guys are training hard. They're working their butts off and they're doing everything they can just to have the opportunity to compete. They say they want to be seen as equal, but it's hard to feel equal when they get no support. I just want people to understand how how tough it is for us to raise money for this. And, you know, I'm uh, hoping we find a way. The only way to get that equal opportunity is having an interpreter provided for us, giving us that full access so we can be at the same level as everybody else. The team is still more than $18,000 short of what they need. If you want to help them get to Brazil, we've put a link to their fundraising site on our website, fox9.com. In White Bear Lake, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.